What's going on everyone? ODC here and I'm back with another action figure review. This is an oldie but a goodie. We're taking a little bit of a throwback look at the NECA Predator Ghost Predator. Um, this is a Predator from the Dark Horse Comics era. Um, now that we're stepping into a new era with Marvel. Ugh. Um, but um, this was... Uh, Ghost. Um, this is a figure I've actually had for quite a bit, and uh, just never got around to really opening him up. And he was so st he was so stuck in the archives of storage that <laughs> I almost forgot I even had him, which is a, a silly thing to to say, but it's the truth. Um, but uh, this is Ghost Predator. There's actually a couple um, older Predators that I do have that I'm going to be shooting reviews of in the next coming weeks um, that uh, I pulled out of storage and I'm just going to open up. Why not? I know there's probably some of you men on card people out there that are probably like, don't open it, don't open it. But as you can see here, um, <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of damage up here on the card anyway. It's already starting to split open anyway. So that's kind of why I've decided to open this guy up. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, but before we get to that, let's take a look at the card. Um, this is, like I said, an older figure. I believe it was released, what was it, 2016. Uh, I think that's around the time when I got the spike-tailed Predator. Um, I actually ended up passing on the Stalker Predator, which I'm still kicking myself over. Um, he is very similar to the, uh, what was it, Deshande? Um, the Broken Tusk, or, yeah, Broken Tusk uh, Predator. Um, if you haven't read his comic, definitely go check it out. Um... It's a really cool story, um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and read this really quick for those of you that want the Reading Rainbow segment. Uh, narrowly escaping a super predator raid on his village, the predator known as Ghost used his presumed death status to his advantage. He has devoted his life to systematically eliminating the entire race of those responsible for the death of his people, referring to the super predators. Living in complete solitude, Ghost has taught himself extreme focus, patience, and often scouting super predator tribes for weeks before a calculated strike. Using specialized excuse me, thermal dampening netting, he is only seen seconds before a kill. This has caused him to become a subject to a super predator lore, a quote, boogeyman, whom his target is whom his targets fear. Uh, the physiological advantages gives Ghost an edge in combat, and his opponents are often stricken upon seeing him. So you see him, and that's death. He's basically the ghost who walks. Um, little nod to uh, Phantom there. Uh, <laughs> his plasma caster is only for defense. Uh, ghost offers death blows of a cleaver sword, and a smart disc ensuring that his prey see him at the moment of their death. Pretty cool little read up there. I normally don't do reading rainbow segments, but today was a special thing. And here's a special predator for you all. Okay, and we're back with Ghost Predator out of packaging. And these are all the accessories he does come with. He does come with his combi stick. Um, looks really good. Very nice detail going throughout. Um, I'm going to try and be really delicate with this figure. Now, this is an older NECA figure. A lot of the older NECA figures, and even some of the newer ones, I've seen some reviewers, and they just end up snapping limbs and stuff. And it does happen. It's happened to me, too. So I just try to always have that in the back of my mind, that uh, it is a NECA figure, and it could possibly break. So... Um, NECA figures I always look at as more of a light collectible uh, as opposed to more of an action figure like a Marvel Legend or a whatever. Um, but uh, this is his combi stick. I really like the paint detail going throughout the handle portion right here. And it is collapsible. Um, unfortunately, you know, as far as the design, it's collapsible. But the actual combi stick is not collapsible. Uh, do be careful with these. Um, they are very delicate. These are a harder plastic and a lighter brittle plastic. And these actually points on each end of the combi stick will snap off. It has happened to me in the past just from taking a dive off a shelf or whatever. 
Um, so that's a comedy stick. Next up, we've got his plasma caster. Looks really good, nice, crisp, and clean. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just the Jungle Hunter's plasma caster. Um, there's a lot of reuse here from the Jungle Hunter, so um, I'll, and I'll show comparisons as to how much is reused. I'm pretty sure the head is reused. The majority of the body is reused as well. There's a little bit differences between, but uh, it's few and far between. Um, yeah, so there's the plasma caster. Looks really good. All the inner workings are his light paint shading going throughout the plasma caster there. On the back, we've got this little tube. Try to be careful with that as well. And it is articulated. Uh, mine's very delicate and a little wobbly. So I'm just going to kind of leave it. It is on a ball or actually on a hinge joint here. So just try to be careful with your plasma casters. They are very delicate. Um, also, another thing to be very delicate with is his detonation device or his wrist gauntlet. Um, it is on a hinge. I don't really trust these too much until they start putting metal um, pins through here. This is all just a plastic on a plastic. And you can open it up. It will show the detonation device and everything like that for his self-destruct. Um, next up, we have his smart disk. Um, really good looking smart disc, very similar to what we've seen in the past with the Jungle Hunter, City Hunter. I'm sorry, not the Jungle Hunter. He didn't have one. The City Hunter, excuse me. So I retract my statement. And uh, most of the other predators usually come with a smart disc or shurikens um, of, some, of some nature. Next up, we've got the cleaver or sword, I guess. Um, it looks really good, very unique for his design. I'm not sure if anybody, any of the other Predators have had this. So this would be the one unique weapon that he does come with besides maybe his bio mask. But um, it looks good. I like the uh, serrated uh, edge on this side. And he's got the really nice blade on that front. And then it's got definitely a futuristic look right here for the handle with these two kind of like, I don't know, to be like uh, handle grips right there and uh yeah very nice unique looking design and so that's welcomed next up we've got the bio mask his bio mask looks very cool very unique for his design um it looks very traditional while also looking unique the eyes are much smaller than a normal predator mask i want to say the mouth um guard or breathing apparatus right here for the mask is much much more elongated as far as the mask goes um, and it's actually protruding out and there's a lot more sculpting and detailing going throughout there uh, a lot of texturing as well so really good job there too and it almost looks like there's there's portholes there for some hoses or something like that but that looks really nice i really do like it and if you flip it over to the other the inside excuse me let me just try and get rid of the shadow here if you flip it around to the inside, you can see all the inner workings of the mask and everything and how it kind of lines up with his head. Um, and to put the mask on his head, you simply just want to use friction and you just want to kind of pop it on his head with his mandibles and then it kind of sits there. The only thing that I kind of have an issue with is that I wish, and I'm not trying to push this any further than I have to, but um, I do kind of wish that his helmet sat a little bit or at least i could get his neck to be pushed back where he would sit more upright so it doesn't look like he's hunching forward he looks like he's hunching forward a little bit maybe that's just the the illusion of the mask doing that but it does look like he's kind of got a little bit of a hunchback syndrome going on uh, maybe that, that's probably just one of my nitpick gripes about it maybe the hair's in the way i don't sometimes with these predator figures they they get very finicky as far as their posture goes it kind of bugs me a little bit it's like there we go i can get his head back a little bit but um there you go with that um the smart disc just goes right into the little area right here his little holder um it's just using friction again um it seems like this smart disc, disc is actually going in a little bit further than normal which is welcomed so thank god for that um, let's see if we have a holster for his, um, his sword. I think I see a little groove right here. Let's see if that will fit a sword in there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. 
I was hoping for something there. It looks like there was a groove there for something. Maybe it was for another predator because this body is reused from, I want to say, jungle city hunter and such. But, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, I guess he can't really store his sword. I don't see any clips on his back, and usually that's what is uh, the area to put it. I don't see anything too much as far as that's concerned. Um, so no storage, at least that I can see. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe if I'm incorrect, but I'm pretty sure I don't see any storage for the sword here. So um, I'll just have him hold it. I was going to have him hold it anyway. He doesn't come with any extra hands or anything. This, is, this predates when they started doing the ultimate figures. Uh, maybe we'll get an ultimate ghost in the future. Um... And that'll probably be a much superior version of him. Um, here is the plasma caster. Here is the bane of my existence. These things don't like to stay pegged in at all. I ended up gluing probably 90% of my predators' plasma casters into their back. Uh, I feel like almost at this point they should just be like a part of the sculpt at this stage. And you should just connect the plasma caster to the pack on his back. So... Well, let's go ahead and we'll do that. There's a section right here where you just kind of plug it in right there, that little porthole right there, and then you have another porthole up there where his uh, head meets the neck. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this on as best as I can. The hair always gets in the way, and the hair is really the issue of why the plasma casters constantly fall off. So let me just get the hair out of the way as best as I can. Um, assuming the, the mask will fall off his head and all the, all hell will break loose once I try to get this on here. Uh, maybe I'll have an easier time this time, but uh, for the most part with these Predator figures, I've always had an annoyance of a time to try and get this on. It's kind of just using friction and uh, this one's kind of going in a little bit easier. I don't know how well that's going to stay the whole review and trying to articulate his head and such. It just... Uh, they still haven't quite perfected the plasma caster, neck articulation, range of motion, and stuff like that. And I know it's a difficult task to kind of get because there's so much going on. There's so much bulkiness going on on his upper torso, especially with all this armor, and it's bulky and in the way, and you got to try and fit that head on there. Um, maybe elongate the neck peg so it's sitting straight, more so straight up as opposed to kind of hunched forward. But, um, so next up, we've got to sacrifice one or the other. I think we might be able to fit the combi stick in that hand and we'll fit the sword in that hand. So let's go ahead and try and do that and see if we can hold everything. Cause I love weapon storage. Um, just as much as I love the character being able to hold all of their weapons. And with such limited um, hand options here, obviously he's only going to be able to come with so much stuff back then. Um, these were $20 figures back then. Um, you know, they're not $40 figures like right now, and they come with like a ton of stuff. So, um, But uh, there you go. He can hold everything. He looks ready for, for work or school or Whatever, you know, he's prepared. He is prepared to go. And that, of course, is going to fall out, you know. Um, it would have been nice, like, definitely nice if we could have gotten some sort of um, peg for the combi stick in the back. But, like I said, the combi stick is supposed to be collapsible by design in the Predator universe. So, I guess you kind of have to have him hold it. Um, so, there he is holding everything. Let me readjust my camera here and center everything for you guys. But there he is holding everything. He looks really good. Um, he is more of a, like a, almost like an albino pale looking predator here. Um, ankles are a little bit looser than I would like straight out of package, but this is also a very old figure. So I don't know how the previous owner um, um, handled this figure. I purchased this off of eBay, I want to say back maybe 2018. So. I've had this guy for quite a bit, but um, I remember reading his story and, and liking it quite a bit, and he's a very intriguing character. Um, he's not, like I said, the most unique looking. He is using a lot of reused parts. 
Um, and I'll go ahead and do a quick little comparison with some of the Jungle Hunter and City Hunter figures. Okay, and we're back with the Jungle and City Hunter, and I don't actually think he's using any parts from the City Hunter. He's definitely using a ton of parts from the Jungle Hunter. Uh, I'm not sure where that disc holder is from, uh, the his smart disc holder. Um, it must have been, you know, different uh, from somebody else, but I want to say 90% of him is from the Jungle Hunter. I'm just looking at things right now, and there are some differentiations between the two, but for the most part, the plasma caster is the exact same. Um, the body, for the the majority of the body, is the exact same. The hands are obviously different. This is the Ultimates version of the Jungle Hunter Predator. Um, the only difference is, um, and don't let the paint apps fool you, this is the same body. The leg... Uh, armor is exactly the same. The feet are exactly the same. The um, cod piece here, the whole kind of um, what you call it, underwear that he's wearing, is exactly the same. It just has a different piece right here on the side of his leg that's kind of uh, sculpted or glued on. Um, the wrist gauntlets, I want to say, are exactly the same as far as that is concerned. Let me actually get City Hunter out of here because I don't think he actually used any City Hunter there um, but as you can see here they are precisely the same the shoulder armor right here are the differences you'll see the shoulder armor there is different from this one um, obviously the trophies around his neck and such are different but the upper torso is exactly the same um, this whole side of his armor is exactly the same as well so there's a lot that is very, 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 very similar. And let me just take his mask off so I can show you the face. Um, I think the face might be different. Yeah, the face is definitely a different head sculpt. It might actually be more of the City Hunter's head. So he's kind of like a Frankenstein figure, which I'm okay with. I mean, this is a more of a niche pickup, I want to say, maybe for most people. Most people don't know who Ghost is. I do because I actually read the Predator comics, but, you know, not everyone's required to read the comics to know every single character or even just like him by design only. Um, there's tons of characters I like by design only and I don't like their characters, but I don't know. I uh, just want to kind of show the quick comparisons between the two. They do share a lot of things, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it is something to point out. So as far as his articulation does go, let me get this out of his hand and I'm going to try and do this as light as possible. If I'm not showing everything, it's just because the frailty of an older NECA figure, especially being in storage, which it is, my, you know, my storage is climate controlled and everything, but still, you never know, and I don't want to push any joints, so bear with me here and try to be a little understanding. The head here, let me take the bio mask off. The head can swivel a little bit left and right. With the plasma caster off, he can swivel probably a lot more. It's just bumping into it constantly. It's probably going to depeg and knock off. Um, it's already starting to depeg a little bit there. Um, but he can look up a little bit like that. He's very limited as far as the neck goes. Um, he can pivot side to side. There is no jive turkey. I'm not even going to attempt to jive a turkey here. But um, the arms do go up about that far. Let's hope I'm not pushing this too much because most NECA figures do like to break off at the bicep. Um, so just be careful with that and careful with your joints. He does have a bicep swivel. He has a double jointed elbow and be careful with the elbows too. I've seen some of the elbows snap, especially on some of the alien figures. Be very careful with your alien figures. Um, this piece can pop off. I don't recommend that you do that. If yours is nice and tight in package, don't take it off. It, it'll just cause it to become more loose and there's no replacement part for it anyway as far as replacing it with a different size gauntlet or anything like that. So just, I just kind of deem it irrelevant to even have that removable. And if it does pop off, you're definitely going to have to super glue it back on and just make sure that these still work because those are articulated as well. You can slide those back and forth. Um, he does have a diaphragm joint, which can swivel. Sorry, let me center myself again. It can pivot side to side, and it can swivel that way as well. Um, he, he does have a gauntlet swivel on both sides. Just be careful with this hose right here. It's very delicate. Um, same thing on this side. Um, he does have a waist swivel. 
and you can kind of, it's on a ball joint, so you can kind of jiggle around. Um, the legs can go forward about that far. It's not the most flexible. I'm still waiting for the day that uh, these figures become a little bit more posable. Um, uh, they can go back about that far. Can do the splits. Just be very careful with your joints, like I said. I'm going to try and get the splits up there, but if you start getting any sort of resistance, don't push it. Um, even, if, even heating figures up, I mean... I know there's going to be somebody out there, well, you didn't heat your stuff up. I'm like, man, yeah, sometimes it doesn't matter. I've heated joints up on Predator and Alien figures in the past, and they're still broken. So uh, there's a double-jointed knee, really good range of motion there. He does not have a boot swivel of any kind like that, but he does have a ball peg ankle joint. It can do a little bit of an ankle pivot there. Um, it can point the toe about that far, not the best, and points the heel about that far as well. So that's pretty much basic articulation for any Predator, even the updated Ultimates Predators. Um, so there's that to point out. I want to say overall, and I'm going to keep this kind of short and sweet, he is a very kind of almost bland figure. Um, you have to really, I think, like the character to want to get him. But I think he does serve a uniqueness to him, regardless of using a lot of previous parts. Um, I love the biomask. I love the uniqueness of that. And I love the uniqueness of his bladed weapon right here. That looks really nice. Uh, I always love me a combi stick. I, I just kind of wish that maybe he had a little bit more of a unique looking combi stick. But he is Ghost. I mean, he, he, he only uses the tools to get the job done. And like I said, he you could consider him the Grim Reaper of Predator figures. I think that's why I dug his, um, I dug his uh, story so much. And let me just fix my camera here. Sorry about that. Um, was the fact that he is kind of the Grim Reaper of Predators. If you see him, you are dead, and that'll be the last thing you ever see. But. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much Ghost in a no nutshell. Um, there's a lot of nice pearlescent white paint going throughout as far as the sculpt and paint. The sculpt is always going to be top notch. I mean, it's NECA. He's right on par with, uh, or NECA's right up there with like McFarlane, stuff like that with paint and detail. Um, they're just, they've always been top notch, especially with their Predator and Alien figures. They do a really good job with paint shading and knowing where to put the paint shading, where not to. Um, the armor itself is definitely a different shade. It's not just a straight-up reuse of uh, paint from any other Predator. I want to say it's kind of got its own uniqueness to it. Um, I really, like I said, I really love the Biomask. I love the little cleaver sword he's got here, too. Um, and overall, he's going to serve well on my display. Now... Most of my Predators, they don't get into too many dynamic poses. They just kind of stand, and that's all I really need from them. They're more of a display centerpiece. They're kind of just like almost staction figures. You can have fun with some of them, but just know that if you continue to pose them crazy and crazy and crazy, they're going to eventually degrade. The plastic will degrade and snap. It's just going to happen. There's a due date with all of these. I want to say a little bit faster of a due date with some of the NECA products, but I still do enjoy collecting the line. Um, but that's pretty much it for Ghost. He looks fantastic. I love him. And uh, like I said, he's going to serve well with the rest of my group of uh, action figures and my display. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, I would definitely give him a, um, a two thumbs up. I would give him a full recommend if you're into um, additional lore and additional characters uh, from the Dark Horse comics. Um, definitely read up on Ghost. You might end up liking him. Um, still, he's not my favorite. Uh, my favorite, well, I think, will always be Ahab um, as far as characters go. I just loved Ahab's story and loved his action figure as well. It's one of my favorite uh, NECA figures. But um, that's pretty much it for me. I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What's your favorite NECA Predator figure? Uh, what's your favorite Aliens figure also? Um, and uh, what do you think of Ghost here? So let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I, I know I don't just say that. I always like to hear everybody's feedback. And 
yeah, that's pretty much it for me. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.